So it all started when I was bored and decided to open up Reddit for once in a month. I didn't know where to go, so I just went to the Lucky Star subreddit. I browsed and saw something that caught my eye. It was this little funny haha video. Now I'm not entirely sure where this video came from, or if it's a real program, or just something someone made in a video editor that's disguised as a program, but nonetheless, it gave me an idea. It was to make it into a real program. So first things first, I needed to do was analyze the video. So this window is on the Windows 7 OS as it appears, judging by the arrow theme. And I'm using Windows 10, so unless the video is using Windows 10 with an arrow skin on, I can't really do anything about that. But the next thing is the photo, or well, the GIF. I took the Google Images to try and find this GIF, so I did a simple search, Tsuka Hirigi, and got a good result. An image possibly a JPEG or PNG, but we're not looking for static images, are we? We're looking for an animated image, which is a GIF. So I clicked Tools and selected Type and clicked GIF. I did some scrolling, and behold, I found this the GIF. And of course, it comes from Know Your Meme. So anyways, I downloaded and put it in the same folder as my Python project in Visual Studio Code. And now I'm on the FBI's watch list because I just looked at Anime School Girls. But you know what? That's why this video is sponsored by NordVP. I'm... I'm just kidding. Anyways, back to the video. So I went to Individual Studio Code and created my script. I named it script.py. I know, very original. But wait, what am I doing? I didn't even create a plan, so that's what I did. With finishing up on my amazing six-step plan, I got to work. First things first, I imported the modules I needed to work, then started coding away. I first started off with the basics, which was making the window appear and stay up along with the title, totally not malware. Bada bang, bada boom. Then I added some things so when I turn the script into an executable, the script will be able to work. Then I analyzed the video a little bit more and I looked at the icon it has for it. Because the video is very low quality, I couldn't really make out what it was, so I guess it was a page icon. So I went to Google Images again, looking at page icons, till I found something sort of similar. After that, I went to Affinity Photo and changed the black, I meant the black in the picture to gray, and after so, I changed the PNG into an icon. Then added the icon to appear as the little icon on the top left of the window. Following up on that, I coded into the button that says, thanks. So boom. Here we have it, our first thing to do appear on the window. Then I tried implementing the GIF of Tsuka, but that's the keyword there. Tried. I forgot how to implement images into Tinker, so that's all right. Because the internet exists and within a few minutes, I figured out what I did wrong and then fixed it. Well, sorta. I got the image to be on there, but however, the GIF was a still image, so I had to fix that, and I did. After searching around the internet for a little bit after driving to Subway, I found a solution thanks to this guy. I found other solutions, but they looked really confusing, but this guy, he made it pretty simple. Credit to his video and the GitHub he left in the description below. Then I turned the GIF into a more square shape than rectangle like in the original MP4. But now with the whole image problem out of the way, it is time to implement the text and text boxes which are called intro boxes, but anyway, which I came into a problem. The text was not aligning with the image, it was being in a top-bottom view. But after three hours of going around the internet, I found my solution, which when packing the image, I just needed to say side equals left. So simple of an answer, but worth in the end, because I'm learning Tinker in the process and all of this. But anyways, I got it to work, and then I made an entry widget. Or, well, a few of them, and then I came into a problem for about five hours. I was trying to work on it, I figured out the problem, I got sort of close where I want it. But that wasn't good enough for me, and I wanted to be perfect. So, my solution for that was... Rewrite nearly the whole thing not to be in dot .pack, but rather in the column and row format. Or, the grid format. And I did this using column span and row span. This diagram should help visualize what I was trying to plan out. Then I did some changing around with the script to make it look more accurate to the video, and here is my reaction when I figured it out. Uh, what if... Okay, so... Can they're closer, but that's it's not in the center. What if I told it to stick to the left? Oh, what is it? Let's go! 
Then after that, I added a line of code that prevents the user from changing the size of the window so our program doesn't look all sloppy. Then change the button to be round, and that's it. That's my uh, go at trying to recreate this thing. I spent around 11 hours on it. It took me a while because I had to learn Tinker and its limitations, along with trying to plan and think this all out. All in all, I enjoyed creating this, and I got to learn something and create something. If you guys would like to see more of this, consider subscribing to the channel, maybe liking the video as well. If you guys want to see this code yourself, its code is in the GitHub link I provided below in the description, along with the URL to the EXE on the Google Drive. See you guys later. God bless.